We're learning more about why the Shasta County Sheriff is taking a hard stand against the new state law that bans concealed weapons in a lot of public places, even though it's held up in the courts right now. Action News Now reporter Taylor Helms is live at the Sheriff's Office. So Taylor, you spoke with the Sheriff today. What are his concerns when it comes to training for concealed carry permits? Right. He believes that it might discourage instructors because under SB2, there's a new type of certification that's different than what from, uh, different from what most instructors have right now. So Sheriff, John, uh, most instructors right now in the area of Redding are certified under the National Rifle Association and or the California Pistol Rifle Association, which was accepted until January 1st when the new law went into effect. And county supervisor and gun store owner Patrick Jones tells me even though part of the new law is on hold, the former certifications are now no longer valid. Now, the state requires instructors to have the post peace officer standard certifications. Jones says that's that part of the law is not being challenged, but he says he and his brother are fully certified and have been for decades. Well, clearly this is an attempt to reduce the number of instructors statewide. There was no issue with having NRA certified instructors. They were fine and they had no issue up and down the state. So clearly here this is a retaliatory measure uh, to make it more difficult to have more certifications for instructors. Uh, luckily I'm post certified and so is my brother Marshall Jones is, is post certified and so we'll be able to make that transition. But not everybody will and it's not right. And again, it's why SB2 uh, will be challenged in a court of law. Jones also shared with me that at the next Board of Supervisors meeting next Tuesday, he's introducing two new policies in response to SB2 that would allow employees, security guards, and the public to carry inside county buildings if they have their CCW permit. Jones and Sheriff Johnson say that this law was the state's reaction and response to the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin Supreme Court ruling, which Jones says is government overreach. Live in Reading, Taylor Helms, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. All right, thank you, Taylor. Sheriff Johnson is in contact with instructors in Shasta County and trying to work through the legislation to make the transition as easy as possible if it gets permanently reinstated, including a meeting he had today with his staff to talk about the hurdles the county could face.